Hi faculty, it's Elizabeth at the Coastline Library, and this is a quick overview about how to set up Proctorio, the online proctoring system. At Coastline College, we use Proctorio because of the federal regulation that asks us to authenticate students to make sure the student taking our course is who they say they are, and also because of the board policy that, that has similar language to that federal regulation. Proctorio is a great tool because it has multiple options that you as a faculty member can choose to set up all the way from locking a browser so that a student just has to stay in your quiz to recording a room and you as a faculty member get to pick which options you'd like to use. In the library workshops, because they're assigned as assignments for a lot of your classes, so thanks for sending students to that. The thing that we use is the photo ID verification. And for most of you, that's probably what you're gonna to need to use for the federal regulation and for the board policy. So that's pretty easy to do. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure that Proctorio is enabled inside of Canvas. And the way to do that is to have Proctorio in your navigation. You can go to settings, navigation, and if you see secure exam proctor, Proctorio, in your navigation, then it's enabled. If you don't see it up at the top, you can go down here and you can click and enable it and that will make sure that you can use Proctorio. Oh, don't forget to save. Once Proctorio is enabled, you'll then go and create a quiz. You'll go and create your quiz. Then you'll enable, under quiz restrictions, enable Proctorio Secure Exam Proctor. And once you've done that, you can go to the Proctorio settings, and this is where you'll have multiple options for how you'd like to set up your Proctorio exam. In the library, we click on Verify ID, and that tells me right here that the Verify ID will require the test taker to show a photo identification card before beginning the exam. And there are a lot of other tools that you can enable in Proctorio. If you find you're using the same tools, in this case for the library, we have the ID check, we've disabled the right click, we only allow one screen, and we've disabled a clipboard. So if we'd like, we can create a new profile and save it. So then we can just use that again in our other quizzes. Once we've done all this, we will save and when our quiz is ready, then we'll save and publish. And the cool thing is you can create customizations for each of your options. Now Proctorio has multiple tools you as a faculty member can set up. So it's good to see which one is more appropriate for what you're doing. For most of us, this will be used in the student, student learning contract, the student learning contract. But after that, it's up to you how you're gonna use Proctorio. We're just using it to try to, like I said, comply with federal regulations to verify the identity of the student who's taking our class. Now, once you've done that, a lot of times faculty don't know how to check the ID. This is how you would do that. You'll go into Canvas, you'll go to your quiz, and you'll click on View Proctorio Gradebook. If you're looking for a specific student, you can always put the student's name right here. But since right now I'm just looking for me, <laughs> this is where you'll find me. So once you get to the student, usually they're in a row. If you click on this icon that looks like an ID, it will expand the information for the test taker. By clicking on the ID, you can then see the picture that the student uploaded. And so what we find sometimes is that the webcam for Proctorio doesn't always get the ID. And that could be because the student hasn't has it too far back, or it could be because something is blurry, the camera is not even clean. It really has more to do with the internet connection of the student and the camera on their computer. So if you go to verify an ID and you can't identify it on for the student, what we do in the library is we just email the student and we just say, hey, you know what? The ID was blurry. We couldn't actually see it. Maybe Proctorio didn't take the picture. We list multiple options. And we just ask the student to send us a copy of the ID. And what we usually tell students is they're welcome to cover any personal information that they like, as long as their name shows up and their photo. 
we also specify it needs to be in English. So once we do that, and here in Canvas in the gradebook, if you want to make a note that you have checked the student ID, or if you'd like to keep it in your roster, it's just one way of verifying that a student is who they say they are. And if you later on have a quiz or a test, you're going to ask students to use a proctorio and maybe you have the screen being recorded or different things like that where you need the camera. This would verify the student had a, cam a computer with the camera early on in the semester. So Proctorio, I understand there's sometimes some things that we're worried about, but since we need to follow federal regulation and board policy, this is definitely a tool to be able to verify your, your identification of your students. And if you come up with another way to do that, that's great too, as long as we're following policy. All right, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the library, but probably better to ask the Faculty Success Center. All right, have a great day. Bye.